Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road and today I'm going to show you how to use Forescan to update the TPMS thresholds on your F250, F350 in order to uh, run the tire, uh, tire pressure recommendations that we typically give uh, when you install a Carly system or similar on your Super Duty. Uh, this is a very common question we receive. Uh, so let's just jump right into this. The first thing we are, first things you'll need is a PC laptop as well as a Bluetooth OBD dongle. I am not going to go into details as far as, you know, compatibility, things like that, or how to set this up. Uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube how to do this already. But what I am going to do is show you how, once it's set up, how to work this uh, for your Super Duty. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we'll go ahead and plug in the Bluetooth dongle. We will put the truck into the run position without turning it on. And you'll go ahead and open up the Forescan application. Uh, once it's open, you're going, it'll go onto the main screen. In the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a little square icon. It looks like two plugs plugged into each other. If you, move your, if you move your mouse over it, it'll say connect to vehicle. You'll want to go ahead and click that first. Assuming that Forescan is set up correctly, it's going to take a moment to load everything. It's going to go through a variety of things on the screen, basically showing the different uh, computer systems on the truck that it's connecting to. Once Forescan is fully connected to your truck, you'll see an, a little pop-up come up. It'll say, would you like to save the profile for this vehicle? Truth be told, it doesn't really matter if you click no or yes. Uh, since we use this particular computer for a lot of customer vehicles, I'll just click no. Okay, so now you're in. So the next thing you'll want to do is on the very left-hand side of the screen, you will see an icon that looks almost like a chip. If you highlight it with your mouse, it'll say configuration and programming. You'll want to go ahead and click that. And this will actually show the variety of computers in your vehicle that you can connect to. Um, so for the first part of this, I am going to apply the instructions for 2011 to 2019 trucks. So if your truck is a 2011 to 2019, you'll go to uh, body CM as built. So BDY CM. Uh, make sure toward the end of that it says in parentheses as built format. Uh, you'll click on that and then you'll move the mouse toward the bottom of the screen. Uh, you'll look for a little circular blue icon that looks like a play button. You'll go ahead and click that. It'll, it'll give you a warning about changing configurations. Uh, just click OK. It'll take just a moment to load. And so once this loads, we are actually now into your truck's body control module. So this is where we can actually go ahead and make changes to the TPMS thresholds. So if your truck is a 2011 to 2016 Super Duty, you'll actually want to go to the line for 726-22-01. And in the you'll see that under 726-22-01, there are actually three little separate boxes with uh, numbers and letters in them. Uh, what matters for us is actually going to be the middle uh, middle uh, text box for 726-22-01. Um, we are going to replace whatever's there with just 2828. What 2828 does is it sets front and rear TPMS thresholds to 40 PSI. Now keep in mind this has a range of 10 under that you can go before it actually kicks a light. So since we typically recommend setting these trucks to 45 PSI front, 40 rear when you're unloaded, uh, this puts you right in the range so you're not getting a TPMS light while going down the road. But if there really were an issue where it's dipping below 30 PSI, your TPMS system is still warning you. So again, 2011 to 2016 trucks will use 726-22-01. If your truck is a 2017 to 2019, it's actually going to be under 726-40-01. So this particular truck here is actually a 2019. So uh, again, 726-40-01. So we're going to go in here and actually change the settings that are in here to 2828. Again, that's for a 40 PSI threshold. Um, we're also going to, in the in the description on this video, list a couple other options you can input uh, for slightly higher, slightly lo lower thresholds. So keep an eye out for that. Once you change the middle box to the 2828, you'll go ahead and click right. 
the truck will give a, or the software will actually give a quick error saying invalid checksum of data entered. Uh, that's fine. You'll go ahead and click yes. It'll take a second, lights will flicker, truck will make a noise, but you are officially flashed. All right, so you'll notice that post flash, your truck is actually going to have little lines where it would normally show the TPMS or the current tire pressure. Uh, this will actually go away with driving the truck. I'd say once you drive the truck roughly a mile, uh, you know, roughly 30 miles an hour, you'll see it will actually trigger the different TPMS sensors one at a time. Uh, once they're all reread by the truck's computer, you'll notice that you will no longer have a TPMS warning light on if you're within, you know, if you're above 30 PSI. So again, this is a really handy uh, trick for, uh, you know, you, basically if you're running aftermarket wheels and tires on one of these trucks. Um, we've talked about many other videos before, but if you're running an aftermarket Toyo or Nitto or, you know, any sort of uh, off-road style oriented tire with thick sidewalls, you're actually going to have um, uneven tread wear if you go too high tire pressure wise. So, you know, again, we typically recommend 45 front, 40 rear when you're unloaded. Uh, you always want to bump the rear up when you're towing, but that 45 front 40 rear is a very good baseline to work with, I'd say. Results in really good even tread wear, typically results in uh, improved ride quality over the higher pressures. And again, now that you have seen how this works, uh, you know, Forescan is free as long as you have access to a PC laptop. You may have to buy a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, they're usually relatively inexpensive. They're all over Amazon. Uh, so, you know, relatively easy process. Now, uh, we've had a lot of guys call and ask how this works, and there are a lot of, a lot of other cool little nifty tricks you can do with Forescan. Uh, so we didn't highlight those here. We may have some more upcoming videos for some other features, but the most common request we've received is how do I adjust my TPMS thresholds? So I really hope this helps you guys out. And again, we have a lot more similar videos coming, so I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you're not, and uh, keep an eye out for a lot more tech videos coming soon.